extra, an extra attacker out there with that 8, 20 seconds off the shot clock. Roger Vice Priest had gone down, and he goes down early again, and his Montour is on the crease for the opening goal of the game. From behind, two minutes from behind. There's that earlier save from Priest. And then here's the goal. You see Priest bites big time on the first shot on the shoulder of Henhock. Petrie picks up. Dallas John has been on the floor a long time. And a man all over Dylan Webster still manages to get the shot and the goal. That was Kyle Jamison playing defense. You can see it in this replay here on the cut. There it is. Jamison has to play catch up. And this comes, like we said, off the double power play for two whole minutes for the Demons. The players on this roster that played under Jeremy Tolevi is a member of the Peel Avengers. Oh, that's a throwback, eh? Jordan oh. Critch, what a move on the crease. Couple fakes and in behind Jake Henhock. Yeah. They've gotten him now a couple times. So. Number of moves there from Critch. See all the space that he's given. And they still have words. Tory Van Every for hassle time. As the play goes back the other way, now Tory Van Every will go off. As there's a shot and a goal. Dewey Porter brings it up the floor, gives it to the cutter. Right, down early, and uh, you know, you'll expect Hoshmigan uh, to capitalize on that. Here's a great look from behind. 69, 27, and 6. Can I get a ball? As 69, 27, 6. Comes off the bench, goes straight through the middle to the net. Well, last week, I think, uh, Mon Oh, Petrie. There we go. Sorry, Wayne, we said this, this quarter would come down to transition. It took all of 11 seconds, and I think three of those were while the ball tried to get over the line. But seeing that the numbers were matched, Cyclops will change up. On the crease, what a quick play there. Another goal that works its way through the stick of Mike Burke and comes while guys are moving their feet. Looks like Southwest has kind of got their legs under them now. The fifth attacker to get out there is there's personnel changes. Lee Nanticoke gets there just in time to stop the over and back. It comes for Roger Weiss. Oh, what a save by Priest! Oh, and now he's got to cover up the rebound so it doesn't turn into a mistake. The stick saved from Jay Priest, bit on the first fake again. I think maybe the referees need a break, so maybe they need to take the referee timeout, so. Yeah, they've been running too. Here it comes, Jay Priest, your highlight of the season so far. I see glimpses of Ronnie Hextel on that. It's a lengthy five on four, but now Lee Nantico, pardon me, Elijah Printup, on the floor, goes down to the net. Lee Nantico tries to get it to him, and the shot and the goal from Tory Van Every. The leg out and the arm up. Just missing the vomit down and score. And there's our goal again, right off the bat. If uh, the Demons use their timeout here, another nice stop by Brees. He goes to his right so well, as he did that with the arm as well. He likes to come out, and a bit of a bump for Jay Priest, Tom Montour, and Dan Keane mixing things up. Eric Petrie and Tori Van Every. And now Montour and Keane get back at each other again. And Grant's piece is going to send him. And Dan Keane grabs a guy by the face mask, Roger Weiss. And our player to watch has lost the gasket here. Get him off the floor. We don't get a hold of this. This could get out of control here. The Demons look like they've got had guys coming off the bench, but we have still got five. Here's Rod Squire getting involved. They're gonna put him in the box too. There's a little replay that you missed off the face off. Mike Out would want it. And Dallas John down on the crease to Torrey Van Every, and you can see Jay Priest just doesn't get set. Tied at four now. Second half of the third quarter. Childerholz down, diving through. What a goal, Travis Purton. We shall receive. It'll be from the far side, though. 
A yeah, little hard to tell there. There's a little better angle. Pick and roll with Childerhose. And feet are okay. Shot comes in the net, lands. Yep, I think it's good. But it comes anyways, a couple slashes and then a really high stick and a hold. Eric on Eric Petrie, the arm goes up. And the shot and the goal, not gonna matter, is Dylan Webster. Comes in on Henhock and now we're gonna go. Marty Hill, something happened between him and Dan Keen. This has been coming since the end of the half. And Dan Keen all over Marty Hill here. Watch tonight, feisty offensive player. That's gonna be a stick. delayed penalty. We'll try and find Marty Hill and Stu Hill's on the Four back of the goal to start. Goal was scored. Just, I don't know what Four happened. Red. They had definitely Four. decided to go. And then this. Stu Hill took the first shot. There's Keen right at center, right outside the circle. Marty Hill's not even close. Five minutes for fighting for Red. We're gonna zoom this in for you on Stu Hill and Dan Keen, right in the center there. And you can see Stu Hill says something and then wait for it, pow. Shepley goes after him, Dallas John again, the shot and the save by Priest. Josh Becker picks up, he had a huge game in Niagara, the shot, bouncer through the legs of Priest, Roger Weiss. And you're going to see a lot of shorthanded goals. This is why we love Josh Becker. Last week we spoke with his father down in the snack bar and he said, man, you must have loved my kid. Plays like that. Goes in, digs out the loose ball, beats two guys, finds the cutter. And sets it out. In front, Burke shot and a goal. Just snuck by. It'll be a power play goal. <coughs> 11 seconds left. Stu Hill, the bench wants that to be called a hold. As they just saw Eric Giltman take one, but in on net. Shot from Alex Lubchuk. The fake one way go back, the other cut in front of Henrock. Last week for the Demons, it was Tom Montour. For Durham, it was all Dylan Goddard. It's a lot of different contributors. This print up takes the shot and it just goes right through Jay Priest. Let's see how this gets through him. Bit of a screen there, maybe by Kranz in front, but. We'll see what he has to shoot at here. <coughs> yeah, just the bouncer just fooled him. I think he was... Marty Hill, Roger Weiss. Weiss and Hill again. They continue to play catch. Going down low, Tory Van Every bouncer top corner. It was 8-5 and now it's back 8-7. Just outside of 12 minutes to play. You can see Torrey Van Every fake like he's gonna go normal and then corkscrew. John picks it up. Roger Weiss again. Weiss on the crease, it comes back for him and that's what he brings to this squad. Roger Weiss is too dangerous to leave alone up top like that. Again, Jay Priest going down and Weiss just tucks it in behind him. Bit of confusion there between Miller Rutzbridge and it looked like. Torrey Van Every's got another as he cuts in front of Jay Priest. Not sure who was that one or two star. Here's the replay. The uh, hard work done by Dewey Porter, a bit of a pick and roll play, and his way inside the restraining line. <clears throat> Under three to play, still a one goal lead. Here's a pass picked off by Critch. Critch is gonna beat the foot race with Stu Hill. You can't win the shot race with Henock. Beat on a sh penalty shot and now a breakaway. Dan Keen though, he won't be stopped. Nice 
Cyclops have really spread their scoring around, and that's only his first. He had well, he also his... missed an entire quarter sitting in the box. Well, this is true. The dump pass from Webster looking for Critch. They go Josh Becker instead. Spanger's got to come over and cut off Becker. But the pass goes to the other side, and the go-ahead goal, 90 seconds away. Our, is it our player to watch? No, it's Rod Squire. Early in the fourth quarter, and the Demons come back, take the lead. The Cyclops come back, tie it up, and now the Demons back out front. This is really the fourth quarter that we were looking for. Not sure what that was about even. Henhock looks to come out and throw a pick. Eric Petrie in there, Giltman as well for the strip. And they're gonna run out of time as Tom Montour the rag man. And we saw this last week. Horns over, we're not done. As in comes the cavalry. Kyle Jamison coming in to help out Montour now. And Jamison with the signal to the scoreboard. Montour as well. Seen this from those two before. As the home crowd will go away happy. Tom Montour still in discussion over there. I think they're smiling now. I think they know it's done. <laughs> I think we're looking forward to that one, Matt. Here is our three stars of the game. And we put a goaltender on the list because we had to. The human highlight reel, Jay Priest. You can't argue with Jay Priest at all. A few highlight reel stops there. and. Uh, you know, I think he really he really uh, held the Cyclops into the game for the first three quarters. So. And they got themselves in a bit of penalty trouble. Remember, there were two men down, and when he made that spectacular save, so he was their best penalty killer. Our second star of the game, quickly turning into one of my favorite players. I don't know if I'm allowed to have favorites, but Josh Becker, tight defense, a whole ton of loose balls, not a, not a lot on the score sheet. But look out here as we've got Tom Montour and Jesse Cracknell exchanging words down on the floor. They'll head to their rooms as we reveal who our first star of the game is. Like you said, Josh Becker, you know, one of those transition players, a head up player. He's going to be in there gritting it out. He's going to be, uh, you know, maybe getting on the score sheet once in a while, but he's going to be a guy that Mouse knows he can go to to uh, turn some minutes. And our first star of the game, the big man down low on the crease on the power play. A hat trick, he could have had a couple more. Torrey than ever, him and Dewey Porter really worked the two-man game on that right side. You know, with the absence of Wayne Van Every and Chris Atwood, guys like Torrey Van Every are gonna have to step up. Roger Weiss, if the, you know, the Demons are gonna wanna make that appearance in the Creators' Cup again, and Torrey showed tonight that he's a top-line uh, forward. 